Hi everyone, welcome to Crochet for Life. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to crochet this so beautiful and easy and the fast baby blanket. In my previous video, I show how to crochet this baby hat with the baby socks and I'm using same pattern for the this baby cardigan. It's really easy, even beginners can make too. I hope you will love this video. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. If you're new for my channel, don't forget to join with my thousand of subscribers by clicking this subscribe button and the bell icon. Okay, before we start our new blanket, I'm going to show you my finished set. I made this set for the baby boy. This one I made with the basic socks. And this hat you can get the four different size. I'm using same pattern for this cardigan. I made this set for the baby boy. I'm gonna give you this all link in the description down below. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to crochet this blanket. I'm using this teddy bear for this set. It's a really nice size for the baby. Let's see what size for this blanket. This blanket is coming around 40, 41 inches. It's really nice size. I take around 7 hours to finish this blanket. This blanket high is coming. This is square blanket. It's coming around 41 inches. I made this set for the baby boy. If you like to... Use this same pattern for the baby girl. You can use pink with the white or even any color. It's really nice size. I take around 7 hours to finish this blanket. It's really easy pattern. I'm going to use my new blanket. Blue with the white color yarn. If you like to make a baby girl, you can use pink with the white color yarn or even one color. You need... All together, four yarn ball, two white, two blue. This yarn is double knitting yarn. This yarn recommend hook is four. This yarn ball have a hundred gram, three hundred thirty meters. We need all together four yarn ball, two white and two blue. I'm using four millimeter crochet hook to make this blanket um start with the blue color yarn with the four millimeter crochet hook i'm using a stitch counter this really useful if you don't have this you can use different color yarn to begin slip knot And chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This ten chain I'm gonna mark in here one again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have a twenty chain, I'm gonna mark in here two. Now I have a hundred chain, hundred chain, I'm gonna use this yarn to mark in here. I put behind the hook like this and start the chain again. It's coming like this. Now I have a altogether 150 chain. Here I have a 50 with the 100, altogether 150 chain. This is the blanket size. This pattern is going multiple of 3. 
is coming around 36 inches. Now I'm going to start the first row. I'm going to turn this chain to the back side. Skip first three chain into the fourth chain, one double crochet. Again into the next chain, one double crochet. This first three chain I'm going to count first double crochet. Then now you have a three double crochet into the next chain one double crochet again into the next chain one double crochet i'm gonna make into this each chain one double crochet this row is going into this each chain is coming one double crochet Follow this pattern all around to this end of this first row. I'm going to show you end of this first row. Now I'm in the end of this first row. I make into this each chain one double crochet. Into this last chain one double crochet. End of this first row we need 148 double crochet now I have 148 double crochet for the first row row 2 row 2 start with the chain 3 1 2 3 turn your work at the side Now I'm going to start this, this row. You can see this row. This first three double crochet is the first double crochet. For this double crochet. Into the next double crochet. One double crochet. Now I have a two double crochet. Chain three. One, two, three. Into the next three double crochet to one, two, three. This three double crochet to double crochet. Last loop on a hook. Again, into the next double crochet to double crochet. Last loop on a hook. Into the third double crochet to double crochet. Last loop on a hook. Now I have a four loops on a hook. Go through this all loops. Sorry, go through these four loops and chain three. One, two, three. Again into the next three double crochet to three double crochet. Last loop on a hook. One, two, and a three. Now I have a four loops on a hook. Go through these four loops and a chain three. One, two, three. Again, into the next three double crochet to double crochet, last loop on a hook, double crochet, last loop on a hook, double crochet, last loop on a hook, go through these all loops and chain three, one, two, three. Second row is going like this. Next is coming into the next three double crochet. I'm going to show you one more time. Chain three into the next three double crochet to double crochet. Last loop on a hook. Two and a three. Four loops on a hook. Go through these all loops. And a chain three. One, two, three. Second row is going with the same pattern. Follow this pattern all around to this second row. I'm going to show you end of this second row. Now I'm end of this second row. Chain 3. Double crochet. Last loop on a hook. 2 
and a three, go through these four loops and a chain three. Again, double crochet, last loop on a hook, double crochet, last loop on a hook, double crochet, last loop on a hook, four loops, go through these four loops and a chain three. We have to finish this second row same like when we start chain three one two three now i have a two double crochet left double crochet last loop on a hook into this last double crochet double crochet last loop on a hook three loops on a hook go through these three loops and finish this second row third row start with the chain one two three this three chain is the first double crochet i'm gonna add two more chain one two now i have all together five chain turn your work at the side into this chain three space to single crochet again chain one two three four into this chain space single crochet again chain one two three four into this chain space single crochet chain one two three four into this chain space single crochet third row is going with the chain with the single crochet Again, chain 4 into this chain space, single crochet, chain 4, single crochet. Follow this pattern to end of this third row. Now I am in the end of this third row. Chain 4 into this chain space, single crochet, chain 4 into this chain space, single crochet. Now I am going to finish this third row. We have to finish same like when we start. Chain 2. 1, 2. Into this last double crochet up to double crochet. Now we have finished row 3. Next I am going to chain the color. You can see this first three rows are made with the blue color. Next four rows are made with the white color. Then I'm going to start row four with the white color yarn. I'm going to cut this blue color yarn. In my previous video, I'll show how to Change the color. If you missed that, I give you a link in the description down below. I'm gonna join this white color yarn. Like this. That's how I change the colors. You can see when I start the row 4, it start, it's coming white color yarn. Row 4, start with the chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Turn your work at the side. Into this chain space, 1 double crochet. Next, into this Chain 4 space to 3 double crochet. 1, 2, and a 3. Again into the next chain space to 3 double crochet. Again into the next chain space to come in three double crochet. Row 
row 4 is coming into this chain space to 3 double crochet. Follow this pattern to the end of this row 3. Now I'm in the end of this row 3 into this chain space to 3 double crochet. I'm going to finish this row 4 with the 1 double crochet into the 3rd chain, 1 double crochet. I finish with the 2 double crochet. You can see I am start with the 2 double crochet for the row 4. Then I am finish with the 2 double crochet. Now I have a 148 double crochet for the row 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. This 4 row the repeat rows. You can see I made the row 4 with the white. Next row 3 is coming with the white color yarn. Row 5 start with the chain 3. Turn your work other side. Row 5 is coming same like a row 1. This is the first double crochet for this chain 3. Into the next double crochet to 1 double crochet. Into this each double crochet up to 1 double crochet. Row 5 is going into this each double crochet to 1 double crochet. Now you can see this the repeat row 1. Row 1 is going with the row 5. Follow this pattern all around to this end of this row 5. Now I am end of this row 5. I made each double crochet to 1 double crochet. Into this last 3 chain top to 1 double crochet. Now I have again 148 double crochet. Next row is coming. Row 2. Now I have four, 5 rows. Row 6 is coming. Same like a row 2. Start with the chain 3. Turn your work other side. Into the next double crochet to double crochet. Chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Into the next 3 double crochet to double crochet. Last loop on a hook. 1, 2 and 3 4 loops on a hook go through this all loop and chain 3 again into the next 3 double crochet to double crochet last loop on a hook 3 go through this all loops and chain 3 this row 6 is going same like a row 2 Follow this pattern to the end of this row 6. Now I am end of this row 6. Chain 3. Double crochet. Last loop on a hook. Double crochet. Last loop on a hook. Double crochet. Last loop on a hook. 4 loops. And chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Into this 2 last double crochet to double crochet. Last loop on a hook into this last double crochet sorry this last third chain to double crochet last loop on a hook and go through this all loops close and now you can see i made the row six same like a row two next is coming row seven same like a row three start with the chain three and two more then mean altogether five chain into this first chain space to single crochet. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4. Into this chain space to single crochet. Again chain 4. Single crochet for this chain space. You can see this row 7 is coming same like row 3. Follow this pattern to end of this row 7. 
now I am end of this row 7, chain 4, into this space, single crochet, chain 2, 1, 2, into this last double crochet to double crochet. Now I am finished white with the row 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, altogether 7 rows white with the four rows next i'm gonna add the blue color yarn row eight start with the three chain turn your work other side into this chain space one double crochet into the next chain space to three double crochet it's really easy, only four rows to repeat. Into the next chain space to three double crochet. Again, end of this row, we need 148 double crochet. You can see next four rows coming with the blue. I will start first 3 row with the blue and next 4 row with the white. Again, next 4 row is coming with the blue. First 4 row is the repeat rows. This size is coming. around 36 inches this blanket is without border this much you can see in here I start with the blue color first three row is the blue next four row is white and again four row is the blue it's going with the four rows with the one color You can follow this pattern to your blanket size. I'm going to show you end of this blanket. You have to finish with the blue color. Now I'm going to finish this blanket with the blue color yarn. Now I finish 73 rows. You can see I am start with the blue and I finish with the blue. I finish with the one double crochet row. Same like a first row. I hope you will understand. I have a blue one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Blue ten line and a white nine line. This blanket 73 rows is coming. I made this blanket for the square shape. This 73 rows is coming around 30, 36 inches. 36 inches now I'm going to start the border for this blanket I'm using blue color yarn to go around for the border start with the chain 3 turn your work other side into this each double crochet 2 I'm going to make one double crochet this one for border follow this pattern to this this side into this each double crochet to one double crochet and I'm going to show you how to turn this corner now I'm in first corner 
I made this each double crochet to one double crochet into this last double crochet to one double crochet next I'm going to make double crochet for this side this side have 148 double crochet I'm going to make each side 250 double crochet into the same space one more double crochet two double crochet chain one into the same space two more double crochet you can see i made a last double crochet to four double crochet with the chain one this is the first corner into this double crochet to two double crochet one two again into the next double crochet to two double crochet now I have a one two three four five six double crochet for this blue line next into this space each space to two double crochet again into this line blue line into each double crochet sorry each line to two double crochet one two into this space one two now I have a four into the next five six into the next seven eight next this each color line to we need eight double crochet follow this pattern to the second corner now i'm in a second corner into this space two double crochet two double crochet this blue color with the we have a three rows then is coming last blue color with the six double crochet you can see one two three four five six each line to have a eight double crochet into this corner into this double crochet it's the last chain two double crochet then is coming all together for this blue line eight double crochet chain one into the same space two more double crochet again into the next double crochet to one double crochet go through this double crochet and one double crochet again into the next double crochet to one double crochet into this each double crochet to one double crochet I have a this side 150 double crochet we need same number of double crochet for this side if you make each double crochet to one double crochet this come in 148 double crochet with the two corner adding two double crochet all together 150 double crochet now i'm in the third corner into this last double crochet to two double crochet one into the same space one more chain one this side are now where you have 150 double crochet chain one into the same space two more double crochet next this side have a three row with the blue color into this each space two double crochet now i have all together for this side two four six and eight
this each color line we need you have you can see here have a eight double crochet each line we need one two three four five six seven eight each line we need two four six eight if you make the each space two double crochet is coming eight follow this pattern to the fourth corner now I'm in the fourth corner into this space two double crochet into the this space two double crochet now I have a four this is the first round you can see this the first round then we have to finish with this space into this space two double crochet then is coming six same like other side chain one into the same space one more double crochet join with the third chain using by slip stitch now we have a each side 150 chain sorry 150 double crochet for each side now i finish one round for this blanket border next round round two for border start with the white color yarn then i gonna use white color for the second round i gonna remove this slip stitch go through this third chain i'm gonna hold this two color yarn behind the hook and i'm gonna pull this white color yarn through this two loop now i have a white color on my hook this is the fourth corner this two last two double crochet is come in each corner front force start with the chain three into the next double crochet this is the chain three into the next double crochet to front force double crochet into next double crochet is come in back force double crochet again into the next double crochet to front force double crochet back force double crochet and front force double crochet this round is going back force double crochet and a front force double crochet follow this pattern to the first corner i'm going to show you how to make this first corner now i'm in a first corner front force double crochet back force double crochet now i have a two double crochet left you can see two double crochet left i'm gonna make into this both double crochet go through this both double crochet both double crochet to front force double crochet next is coming into this chain is pressed to two double crochet one two chain one two into the same space two more double crochet next into the first double crochet is coming front force double crochet into the next double crochet is coming back force double crochet again front force double crochet back force double crochet you can see this the first corner is coming last double crochet for the front force double crochet follow this pattern to the second corner now i'm in the second corner back force double crochet we have to finish this corner with the front force double crochet i have a two double crochet 
then I'm gonna make into this both double crochet to front force double crochet into this chain space to two double crochet with the chain two one two into the same space two more double crochet into this first double crochet is coming front force double crochet next back force double crochet front force double crochet this the second corner you can see i'm made last two double crochet the front force follow this pattern to this third corner now i am in the third corner front force back force now I have a two double crochet left go through this both double crochet and front force double crochet into this chain space two double crochet with the chain two into the same space two more double crochet again into the first double crochet is coming front force double crochet and a back force double crochet into the next one front force double crochet into the next double crochet follow this pattern to the fourth corner i'm going to show you in a fourth corner now i'm in a fourth corner front force back force now i have a two double crochet left go through this both double crochet front force double crochet into this chain space two double crochet with the chain two into the same space two more double crochet into the this double crochet is coming front force join with the third chain now i'm going to put this white color yarn to down and i'm going to pull this through the loop and blue color In round three start with the chain three into the next double crochet to front force double crochet into the next double crochet is coming back force double crochet this round is going into the front force double crochet to front force double crochet back force double crochet to back force double crochet It's the round three follow this pattern all around to this i'm going to show you how to finish the round first corner now i'm in the first corner with the blue color yarn front force double crochet now i have a two double crochet into this double crochet back force double crochet into this last double crochet to front force double crochet into this chain space two double crochet one two chain two into the same space two more double crochet into the first double crochet front force double crochet into the next double crochet to back force double crochet next is coming front force double crochet to front force double crochet back force double crochet to back force double crochet this the first corner other three corners coming same way into this 
first and last double crochet to front force double crochet follow this pattern all around to this blanket i'm going to show you last corner now i'm in the last corner with the third round into this double crochet back force double crochet into the last double crochet to front force double crochet into this chain space two double crochet chain two into the same space two more double crochet first double crochet to front force double crochet next double crochet to back force double crochet into this double crochet to front force double crochet go through the third chain drop this blue color yarn and take the white color yarn next round going with the white color now i have a white color on a hook Next round is start with the chain 3 into the next double crochet to front force double crochet back force double crochet to back force double crochet is going with the front force double crochet to front force double crochet back force double crochet to back force double crochet follow this pattern to the first corner i'm going to show you how to make the first corner now i'm in the first corner with the white color yarn into this double crochet to back force double crochet into the last double crochet to front force double crochet chain is space to two double crochet chain two into the same space two more double crochet into the first double crochet to front force double crochet next one is coming back force double crochet next is coming front force double crochet to front force double crochet back force double crochet to back force double crochet this the first corner another three corners coming same way you can see first last double crochet and the first double crochet this two double crochet is coming all the time front force double crochet follow this pattern all around to this blanket this is the back side for this border this both side is look same i'm going to show you how to finish the fourth corner now i'm in the fourth corner with the white color yarn into this chain space two double crochet chain two into the same space two more double crochet into the first double crochet to front force double crochet next double crochet to back force double crochet again front force double crochet back force double crochet finish with the front force double crochet go through the third chain and slip stitch now i can cut the white color yarn i made two round with the white color yarn I'm going to tie this white color yarn one you can see I made two color white one two three third one more round I made gonna make with the blue color yarn all together five round for this border I go through this chain three this chain three is coming all the time back force double crochet I'm going to show you again and blue color yarn with the chain three 
front force double crochet to is come in front force double crochet back force double crochet to back force double crochet It's really easy border but so beautiful. Follow this pattern to the first corner. Now I'm in the first corner. Front force double crochet. Into this double crochet to back force double crochet. Into the last double crochet to front force double crochet. This is the last round for this border. Into this chain space three double crochet. One, two, Three. three double crochet into the first double crochet front force double crochet into the next double crochet to back force double crochet next front force double crochet to front force double crochet back force double crochet to back force double crochet this is the last round for this Border follow this pattern all around to this blanket. I'm going to show you how to finish this fourth corner back force double crochet This each corner is coming same way front force double crochet Into this chain space three double crochet two and a three First double crochet to front force double crochet. Next is coming back force double crochet. Front force double crochet. Back force double crochet. Front force double crochet. Sorry, front force double crochet. Back force double crochet. Finish with the front force double crochet. Join with the third chain using by slip stitch. Now I finish this round. I can cut this yarn. I take around 7 hours to finish this full blanket. You can use yarn needle to hide this yarn. I am not using the yarn needle middle of this blanket. It's really nice size. You can see this so beautiful border is coming with this border around 41 inches. It's really nice size for baby and this blanket high is coming. This is square blanket is coming around 41 inches. When you finish this blanket, don't forget to share with me in our Facebook group. I give you a link in the description down below. I'm going to finish this blanket with the teddy bear. Using teddy bear, I made this same pattern with the cardigan. You can see this board is so beautiful. This both sides look same. This blanket both sides look same. I'm using this teddy bear to finish this blanket. In my previous video, I show how to crochet this teddy bear. If you missed that, I give you a link in the description down below. Now I finish adding this teddy bear. I made full set for this blanket. It's coming with the two socks with the teddy bear. This teddy bear I made the 2.5 millimeter crochet hook with the two round. This head I made four different size 0 to 12 month. And I made same pattern with the cardigan. I give it this all link in the description down below. I hope you will love this video. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. See you again with another video.